everybody, welcome to PH Dizzle, and I'm your host, Alice Chang, and today we'll be interviewing Christopher Bostick, who did his undergrad in biology at Cornell, went to West Virginia University to get his PhD in pharmacology, and then completed a postdoc at Columbia. Finally moved over to the West Coast, more recently to start a job in uh, venture capital on the healthcare side. Tell me a little bit about what you studied during grad school. Sure. So in my lab, we were focused on immobilizing proteins to better understand their function and better use them. And my lab was big on drug metabolism. So we did cytochrome P450s, which is like the garbage disposal of the body. And we were mobilizing them to better understand how they interact, how they metabolize drugs that we take, and also how we could use them for future production of like bioelectronics. How would disposal affect by a bioelectronic? Uh, not so much disposal, but using them to make single molecule transistors. Okay. So that you could have faster computing power because it's smaller than what we can fabricate naturally with things like silicon-based material. So it's leveraging that system yeah. to work leveraging in... Leveraging small enzymes to be kind of channels that can be zeros and ones. Oh, interesting. Now you are in LA in, and you're working in more on the healthcare side of venture capital. How did you make that transition from doing research more to the business side? Uh, just serendipity. You know, I always wanted to pursue the business side of science. I had a lot of entrepreneurship work during my grad school. I had an LLC making a company to help uh, replace pipettes and boxes so you would have to manually put them in. I remember doing Didn't that. go very far with that, <laughs> but you know, we had a patent and made an LLC. And during my postdoc, I actually met someone that just knew a venture group out here looking to expand their life science portfolio and wanted to bring expertise in-house and met with the team and the rest is history. A lot of people don't really know what venture capitalists do. So what's your typical breakdown of a day or a week? Yeah, I think it's very interesting when you're doing healthcare on the VC side and you're doing life science companies, you do a lot of the same skills that you would do in a lab. That's a lot of reviewing literature, a lot of studying and thinking about new fields and asking the same kind of questions on the technological side of, you know, you would ask in a journal club or if you're reviewing a paper. Mm -hmm. And then just to add on top of that, you have to also consider the human aspects, think about the financials and business plan, and you know, you get a complete picture of a business by kind of going through all the stages. Is it tough learning about the business side of things? Like, how did you hop up on that? Uh, it was very hard at first, you know, it was like a fire hose of information when you're not used to it. It's a big transition and jump, but uh, taking a curiosity, the same curiosity I had in science and applying that to the business side really helped uh, broach the subject and just asking and leveraging people, people on my team that were more versed in it to help pick me up to speed. So what do you like to do in your spare time? Uh, my spare time, I'm an avid craft beer drinker. Okay. I'm a sports nut. I love fantasy football. I love NBA and uh, anything else I can do outside. You know, enjoy the weather here on the West Coast rather than the East Coast. Do you have like a fun fact that you can share with us about sports and your younger <laughs> self? A, f a fun fact, I'm a two-time intramural champion from my grad school days in bowling. So, so you mentioned you like bowling and yes. you're pretty good at it. <laughs> How, when's the last time you bowled? It's been like a year. <laughs> oh, okay. So do you think you still have some of the skills? We'll have to find out. All right. Well. Good thing for you, we've set up some bowling pins. So let's see if you can hit a strike. On the bottom of each bowling pin, I've written a buzzword that you might hear about in VC. So the ones that you don't hit, when the ones that are still left standing, we'll take a look at the bottom and see if you would fund that venture. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. So we have just made it mathematically impossible to bowl a strike. Let's see how you do. How much pins do we have left? We have three. We have toilet paper, marketplace, and AI and uh, artificial okay. intelligence and machine learning. What kind of company is that? So we have a marketplace for toilet paper powered by artificial intelligence and machine learning. It sounds like a sexy investment. And would you make that investment? I don't think so. <laughs> Try it. I can't do the rotation because I just never practice. What if I just threw them at you? Could you catch them? No. Absolutely not. Stop. 